Walking up to the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, certainly not running in that speedy time of six hours and 43 minutes. Well, they shared some of their thoughts with us. Leanne Manners is, of course, part of that delegation. Today is somewhat of a rest day, actually, so we're not really going anywhere. This is the same camp at Horomba Hut that we've been at the whole time. But the difference is we went for a little bit of a walk this morning where we walked up to 4,020 meters above sea level. It was to a rock called Zebra Rock. It was absolutely incredible to see that. And I have to tell you, that's where I started feeling a bit of the altitude. So, yeah, tomorrow's going to be a tough one. We go all the way up to 4,700 meters. So it's going to be a real test. It certainly is. But I really want to introduce you to the rest of the climbers and I want you to see how they're feeling. So uh, this is, I showed you yesterday, this was the communal area that we all come to. And now basically the guys are in there and they're all coming for a cup of hot tea, cocoa, Milo, whatever it is, because it's quite chilly today. Hello everyone. Hello, hello guys. Hello, hello. How you all feeling? Tulani, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah. I just can't wait to summit the mountain. I've seen it by the way. Yeah, it's look. It looks so it looks close. Good, hey? It looks so close, I and I just can't wait. Yeah, how's the experience been so far? Very good. In fact, it's not as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I think when I'm back home, I was scared to hell. I thought I'm not going to get this <laughs> far, but I can tell you, not much is left now. I think the longest trip is going back to the main gate than yes. going up the mountain. Geraldine Namonde. Geraldine, proverbs okay, and he's with me. This is real. You told me that until your mother saw it on morning live she just didn't really understand what was going on i was like whatever <laughs> listen i've not only been saying okay but i also did this last year but it only became a big deal in the house just because you were on it you see right now? you see now? so there you go so now i am so happy to know that you're feeling better this year than you did last year oh absolutely i think because i know what to expect um you know i've got the right attitude temperament i'm relaxed yeah. You know, um, I'm feeling stronger this year. And, I'm, you know, I think we're we all going to get there. Yeah, oh, mm. I hope so. I really do. Zuki, where did you get that lipstick from? <laughs> 4,720 meters and you're putting lipstick on your face. I, so I'm the television presenter here. I'm the one you've been... I'm, I haven't got nothing. I got nothing. But you saw the Kugel never goes, does it? No, it doesn't. You actually bring the essentials or you borrow the essentials from the other ladies. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm actually feeling great. It's been really, really great so far. Um, it's a difficult climb, not as difficult as you think it is when you read up about it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's been okay. It's been okay. I'm looking forward to summiting. Yeah. I think the next two days are going to be the hardest, but I think the group is pretty much ready. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Zuki, if I fail, you can you lend me some lipstick. Is it your lipstick or you lent it from someone? This one I got from Penny. Oh God, Penny. <laughs> that, here's the culprit. It's a lipstick carrier. Penny. What are you doing with lipstick up here? They all asked me for lipstick and then uh, Koketo, who had been a finalist in Miss Essay, she says, even if you're feeling bad, her and Maya, they're saying that um, from Vodacom, you got to have something to make you feel be beautiful. So... <laughs> So many things here remind me of home. Yeah. Um, the room that I'm staying in now, there's a lot of snoring going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm searching for a signal. Yes. And of course, when the sun goes down, the lights will go out. Yes. So this, this is Johannesburg. <laughs> this is load shedding, snoring, looking for a cell phone signal. Yes. Yes. Um, but apart from that, I think um, the porters especially are, are going out of their way to make us feel yes. comfortable. They've made us feel so welcome and they are always so organized, even much more than we could ever be. Yeah. I leave you with this last guy. Now, this last guy has been our, I don't know what, he's made us laugh, he's made us cry, he's made us wish him happy birthday because it was his birthday yesterday. He has, I don't know, he's just brought such an awesome feeling to this group over here and he's always making us happy and making us feel good. And here he is, Tebe. Ha. Are you feeling as good as you sound? I'm feeling great. Uh, I mean, you have to feel great if you are doing something that's amazing, uh, something that you want to achieve for not just for yourself, but also for a greater cause. Yeah. And it's making you feel, I suppose we, we do, this is going to change you. Do you think it's going to change you? Well, I think summit in Kilimanjaro is a metaphor for a lot of, for a lot of success everywhere else. Because uh, to me as an African, uh, the most important thing is you need to summit in Africa before you can summit anywhere else. Yeah. So it's a lesson for us as Africans to be able to, to be successful 
successful to find success and find excellence in your own country, in your own continent before you find it elsewhere. And secondarily, because we are doing it for a great name, we're celebrating a great man, we're summiting on the 18th of, of, or 18th of July, which is Mandela's birthday. It is also a good telling story because then we're celebrating the legacy of one of Africa's greatest exports. Yeah. And the fact that we are, in the end, we'll be doing this for the girls uh, is a nice benefit as well. All right, well, there you have it. So you've met a couple of acclaimers. There are many more. There's 37 of us all together. And uh, this is the day to rest. Tomorrow is the big day.